Well, it's a shade after seven. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's got some wind. Eight to 15, eight to 16 northeast. Dies low about uh, three hours, I think. I might shoot out there early this morning and hunt around again where I was yesterday. There's an eagle coming in. I'll get back to you. Baked apples and cottage cheese. A hearty breakfast spin before spinning. It's rough as bricks. Cold. I got on boots, long johns, and the tie's not off like I like it. I think I'm going to start that hole right there and work behind me, work back east. Stand by. Second hole, no targets yet. There's one more hole up there, two more holes. Loudest 21 I ever heard. I think it's an old shaft sink off a of boat shaft. Solid 30. I see it now, right there. 25 cents. Well, 
that's the first coin of the day. a mark in the sand. That's how I found them. As soon as I find one, I'll show you. Here's one right here. And the foot tracks. There's a swipe from the pool. It went up here, went down there. Good. Good God, Mooga. Kind of a weak tin. Kind of a scratchy tin now. Minus five. Minus six. Fourteen out. It's got iron and copper, I don't know what it is. But, not a bottle cap. Yeah, not a bottle cap. Stand by. A scratchy 15. I read 9 that time. Reach 5 out. I see some irony sign. Bottle cap, you sucker, you. Look at that damn thing. God. I hate bottle caps, but I. But that's life in the lane. Solid five. It's really scratchy out of the sand. Looks like a snap or something. Shallow one. Looks like a piece of wire or something. If I didn't round up a knot, but here we do it again. A quarter was the best of it for me. Lure, a screw, a snap, bleak. Exercise only. Well, 
I'm on another mission. One of my buddies called me. One of my older buddies. He's a couple years older than me. He called me and said, Hey, George has got some fish. Run by and pick me up a couple of them and bring them to me. He lives way out in the country. He's got bad knees. He don't get around much. So Chris and I are going to go to George's and pick up a flounder or two, uh, maybe a Spanish mackerel or something, and head to Knott's Island. That's about 50, 60 miles maybe. I talked to uh, the Mumbles man. I told him I was on the beach and I saw some swipes from somebody else was there with a snag, you know, with a barb on the bottom of it. Coil. He said, that was me. He said, I got zip ties on the bottom of my coil, and when I swing it, you can see the zip tie put a swipe in the sand. <laughs> I said, yeah, that was you, all right. He's going to send me what he found, but he said it was really as bleak like what I found. But we both got some nice exercise. I'll get back to you when I get to the fish house. If I was a dirt hunter, I'd have to be all over that spot right there. That's the one I showed you the other day. complex of North Carolina and Virginia Beach. Big duck hunting thing, goose hunting in his day, back bay. Right. Huge. Look at it. Right. I guess they still duck hunting back here. I'm pretty sure they do. home from Knott's Island, North Carolina, we got a text from a guy that said, I got some knives. I asked him where he was and he was about seven miles from where we were then and I was within two miles of his house so I just picked him up. I got a Columbia River neck knife, some kind of tomahawk and a big uh, I forgot what the other sog I think it is. Now I just got another text from a lady who says, I have some kitchen knives. Can you come by and pick them up and bring them back to me tomorrow? I said, sure. Give me your address and where you located. Well, she lives about four miles from where I live. And it looks like she's got a dozen knives. I didn't count them, but she sent me a picture of them. There's a million of them. So I guess uh, Monday's going to be a knife day. I mean, on Tuesday. We on Tuesday now anyway. I'll get back to you. I don't know how many knives there are. I haven't even counted them. I got this hat, tomahawk from one guy. I got this big sog from, from the same guy with the tomahawk. And a little neck knife. Columbia River. The, it, the blade is really sharp. He just wants to sharpen that much at the top. I said, no problem. Now we're off for our afternoon stroll. Look, two Labradors. Look at her. Look at her. <laughs> let's go. This. Let's go. Uh, which way are we going? That way. Okay. Come on, big old Jack. Come on. We're at the end of the street. This is where the other entrance way is. Not the fancy one, the public one. And I meant to tell you, this thing I found yesterday, it's big, it's a 12. It's every finger I got. 
Big Jack, will it fit your fingers? Indians. Well, there's the little sog hatchet. I mean, tomahawk. I call it a tomahawk. There's the uh, Essie. Nice. This is a nice heavy duty knife here. And the Columbia River neck knife. He just wanted to sharpen the top part. And then I have that lady with all the knives. She got five steak knives. One, two, three, four, five little paras, two boners, two bread knives, one slicer, Santuco, Santuco chefs. A gathering of knives. Nice Zilla. See you tomorrow someplace. Yeah, well, when I dropped off the lady's knives, the 11 knives, she gave me two more. She said, I just couldn't give you all my knives. I had to keep some. She gave me two more Wolfgangs. This one is by far the worst. You know, we had apples. We couldn't have many. We ain't bought them in a long time. Dishwasher. See them dishwasher stains right there? That's what gets them. No. You gotta keep your knives out of the dishwasher. Now, Mexican dinner. Steak and chicken fajita. Shrimp Veracruz. I got no clue what's up here. Now we're going outside. And that cooler is dinner for tomorrow night. I told you I went to the fish house and got some fish for my buddy. Well, I got him two flounders and two uh, Spanish mackerel. And then there, I got two pompanos. I'm going to clean them in a few minutes and going to cut some slits in them and put them in the refrigerator and bake them tomorrow night with some marinara sauce. Oh, I'm not, but the leader is. Pompano, breathtaking little tickets right there.